Hello, this is Sunna Eaton here. Today is the 5th of February. Uh, two, uh, three days ago on uh, February the 2nd, I was on my way abroad with my two sons. Uh, we were going to move out of Iceland because um, we've had to endure a lot of prejudice and a lot of harassment from uh, Barnavand, which is a child service in Iceland. Now, uh, uh, the um, the schooling of my children has been absolutely horrid. Um, I moved to my apartment uh, a few years back, and uh, my kids have been in a school called Vogarskóli, Vogarskóli, which is in Reykjavik, Iceland. Uh, the first, I have three children that were attending that school. Uh, one time, they were all attending it at the same time from the my, my kids had been in other schools before and it had gone f just really well and they were good students uh, the first week of school my kids start complaining about the staff at the school they were mean to them i didn't listen i encouraged my children to be polite because that's how i was raised be polite to adults so um i kind of regret now not having listened to them that they didn't feel good at school because you know it wasn't usual that they were all complaining about the um, the teachers, the staffs there. Now there uh, there are good people that work in that school, but for the most part, it's horrid. Uh, my son, which is um, my oldest, uh, he, there uh, they have for each grade in Voskole. There is just uh, for each grade. There's one class. Now. They started out when my son started in that school, what, seven years ago, there were a lot of boys. But for the past few years, there were only four boys left. Then when my son left the school, there were only three boys in the entire grade left. A lot of the boys there take um, uh, behavioral drugs um, because they cannot handle boys. They want everybody to be like little girls. These are hardcore feminists that work there. They hate boys. And there are a lot of kids on like Riddle in a concert at that school. Uh, my son was on it, I took him off it, and they hate it. They hate that I don't comply. And they also hate that I have demands. I demanded that, and I taught my kids if they were, because in schools in Iceland, they sometimes do yoga, and uh, I am against that, so, I said, if they're going to be doing yoga, you walk out of class, just walk out. And I also said that I don't want my kids doing yoga. I wrote a paper with uh, demands now in the beginning of this school year. I don't want, you know, my son, because he's the only one left at that school or my kids. My other kids are older, uh, my younger son. And I said, I don't want my son doing yoga. He's not allowed. And uh, I had other demands there too. Um, now uh, they uh, they did not want to comply to all my demands, but I have been a pain in the rear end because because you know because I'm a Christian and uh, I I don't go along with their whole programming. But today, um, but we were supposed to leave here three days ago out of this just heathen, you know dirt hole, which I, I can't stand being here in Iceland. I'm a prisoner here. The whole world is looking at Wuhan. Oh, poor people. They're being kept in captivity in that city. Well, me and my children, we're being kept captives in Iceland, on this island. Uh, um, today is a stressful day uh, where uh, the evil partner rent is trying to make a decision. But, you know, they, um, uh, they, I'm the kid's mother. I decided what's best for my kids. Um, yeah, I was going to say Thorbjörg Skúladóttir, the assistant principal, Thorbjörg Skúladóttir, the assistant principal in Vorskóli. I've been fighting for my son to be getting proper education for years. They have had him running around in the hallways. It's only recently that they had some kind of a resolution, but I don't, I don't agree with the resolution because it has to do with partner and also and I don't agree with it. They've had him in a room. Every time I would walk into that school, it was just constant meetings, meetings, meetings. They would have him just running around. There is a lot of, um, uh, there's not a lot of discipline in Icelandic schools. It's a little bit wild. 
um, it's probably because of the really strict children laws, you know, the kids do get away with more, but uh, they, denied, they denied him of education, but now she called to harass me and asked why my son wasn't at school. Uh, I said because he doesn't attend your school anymore, we were trying to move, I don't like your school, I am against your school. So Thorberg Skula Dotter, do not contact us anymore. We want nothing to do with your and your lousy school. I there, you know, um, I will be making more videos if this harassment continues about the horrible school system in Iceland. Alongside, I will be making more videos of Vogerskole, and uh, I have years and years of uh, things that I can talk about them on YouTube video. So Thorbjörn Skula Dotter, you abused my son, you grabbed him, and you were, you, you've thrown him out of school. You have thrown him out of school more than once. So I don't know why you're trying to call here and ask where he is when you were always trying to shorten, instead of coming up at 8, you wanted him to come at like 9.30, and you wanted him to leave early. You didn't want to deal with my son. You, I was told that this, by the school, the former school principal, that the you know that the the school and the kids want didn't want that the none of the that the teachers my children's teachers didn't want they told the father of my children the school the principal told the father of my children like three years ago that the teachers don't want any of my kids in their school Thorberg you abused my son and there were witnesses and you have thrown him out of your school more than once he doesn't go to your school anymore because we are leaving Iceland Leave us alone and stop pretending like you care now. Bye-bye.